Hi, I'm Aaron Krasnow. I'm with Health and Counseling Services at ASU, and I'm here to talk about homesickness today. It's an important topic for families because it's one of the things that comes to mind most often for uh, families of new students is what's it going to be like for them when they start to feel that distance from their home. And homesickness is a normal experience for new students. In fact, almost all students will report at some point feeling homesick. But it's the intensity of homesickness that tends to vary across students. So I'm going to talk a little bit about what uh, to look for when a student is feeling homesick and what you as a parent can do about it. Like I mentioned, it's normal, and so most of the time your student might mention that they're feeling homesick, but they might not use the word homesick. They might use code words that are designed to let you know that they're having a difficult time. I remember when I was in college, I would call my family and I was feeling homesick, and I would use the term bored, that I was bored at school. I was bored with the activities. And really what I was feeling was I was missing them and I was missing uh, the experiences I had uh, in my previous life. But for me, I could only use the word bored. Other times people will say they're feeling sad or they're feeling anxious. And those may be the feelings that they're feeling that are coming from feelings of homesickness. Homesickness is most acutely felt when people are comparing what they had before to what they have now. There's many new experiences that students are gonna feel in college and those can be difficult, they can be stress inducing, they can be uh, hard to manage or understand where it's gonna go. And they start to remember their home experiences as easier to navigate uh, as uh, more familiar and they might be missing their friends or you as their family. What you can do when you hear a student either say directly that they're feeling homesick or they're using some of that code language is that you can first uh, empathize with them to recognize that they're going through a lot of change in this new experience and that that change is difficult no matter what time it is in their school career, it might be the first day or it might be a month into it, and you can say to them you understand where they're coming from, you appreciate it and it makes sense that they're having a difficult time. After empathizing with them, it's important to let them know that you're always going to be there for them, that you could, they can talk to you about how they're feeling, and that if they want some time to spend either on the phone or over text or uh, a visit, if that makes sense for your family, that you can do that. And you can also remind them that you believe in them, that what they're going through right now, again, is normal, and that you believe that they can get through it, that you believe that they're going through a change uh, and that they've always been successful in managing change in their life, and they'll be successful in managing this change as well. So those key things, empathize with them, give them the time to talk to you, uh, whether that's electronically or in person, and then reinforce your belief in them, tends to be enough for most students when they're feeling homesick. Now some students, when they're feeling homesick, the feelings just don't go away or they get so intense it starts to interfere with their life. And in circumstances like that, it's important for you to help them reach out to help. Here at ASU, we have many resources of support for them. There's the Dean of Students Office, which is an office designed to help a student with any issue at all to help them connect to resources or navigate difficulties. We have counseling centers and health centers uh, designed to provide uh, emotional and, and, um, and psychological support for them as they need it. And of course, there's tutoring and advising and peer supports all throughout the campus. All of that, as they engage with that, can help ease those feelings of homesickness and allow them to adjust well to college. So with all of that, I'm, I'm happy to uh, always hear from parents here at ASU uh, through our counseling and health centers to help navigate this. We hear from parents all the time who are having questions about how to help their student, and we're welcome the conversation to help you giving, give you tips and ideas on how to best support your student. Uh, so with that, I thank you for your time uh, and look forward to meeting you all someday in the future.